Let's see. Remember, remember argument number one. John does not call Jesus the God of Israel because if he wanted you to believe he's the God of Israel, he would have said, O Theos. Now, why is he saying that? O Theos. Ha Theos. O Theos. The God. Because if you look at the Greek of John 1, let me show it to you on the screen. Now, watch here. Ke o logos en pros ton theon. So the God he's with is ton theon. But now, look. Ke theos. There is no o. En o logos. So he's saying, if John wanted you to know that he is the God of Israel, he would have said, Ke o theos. That's his first lie. Now, let me show you from John itself where the God of Israel is called Theos without the article. Are you ready? This is all in the article, brethren. And this is one of my older articles. Now, do you want proof that the same John that he quoted uses the word Theos without the article to refer to the true God of Israel? Same John, right? Here, John 1.16. There came a man who was sent from God. Theu, there is no definite article. Now, what this son of the devil say, oh, this is not the God of Israel? So the God of Israel did not send John? All right, how about here? John 1, 12, 13. Yet to all received them, to those who believe in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. No article. It's not to Theu. Now, would this son of the devil say, you're children of a God, but not the God of Israel? Now, watch 13. Children born not of natural descent, nor of human decision or a husband's will, but born of God. Notice again, no article. Theu, genitive. No article. Again, we're born of a God, but not the God of Israel? Really? All right. John 1, 18. No one has ever seen God. Theon. There is no definite article. So no one has ever seen a God, which means that you can see the God of Israel, but you can't see a God. <laughs> Oh, still, I got other examples. John 3, 21. But whoever lives by the truth comes into the light, so it may be seen plainly that what he has done has been done through God. Theo, this is known as the dative, indirect object. But wait, no definite article. So through a God, but not the God of Israel. How about here? John 8, 54. Jesus replied, if I glorify myself, my glory means nothing. My Father, whom you claim as your God, Theos, not O Theos. So that means the Jews, their God wasn't the God of Israel. He was some God, a God. How about John 16, 30? Who does Jesus return to? Now we can see that you know all things and that you're not, you do not even need to have anyone ask you questions. This makes us believe that you came from Theu, not the God, to Theu, Theu. So according to him, since it's not Otheos, then he didn't come from the God of Israel. He came from a God. Are you guys laughing? See how stupid it is? How about John 19, 7? The Jews insisted we have a law, and according to that law, he must die because he claimed to be the son of God. We yun Theu, not Weyun to Theu, son of the God, son of God. So he's not the son of Otheos, the God, but he's the son of Theos. So he's not the son of the God of Israel. 1 John 3, 1 and 2. How great is the love of the Father? Is the love the Father is lavished on us? That we should be called children of God, Theu. We should be called not children of Otheos, the God, but the children of God. So that means it's not the God of Israel. Must be some secondary deity. And that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Dear friends, now we are children of God. Theu. Children of not Otheos, but of Theos. Children of some God, but not the God of Israel. And what we will be has not yet been made known. But what we know that but we know that when he appears, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Second John 1. Three and nine. Now watch, it's going to get very good. Grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father. Theu patros. No definite article. So now the Father is not the God of Israel. You see how he just buried himself? 
The Father is not the God of Israel because he's not called Otheos. Then who is the God of Israel? And from Jesus Christ, the Father, Son, will be with us in truth and love. Anyone who runs ahead and does not continue in the teaching of Christ does not have God, Theon. So you don't have Otheos, you only have Theos. Whoever continues in the teaching has both the Father and the Son. Now here's where it even gets worse. Here you're going to see that the term God in reference to the Father is used both with and without the article in the same sentence. John 3, 2. He came to Jesus at night and said, Rabbi, we know you are a teacher who has come from God. Theu. Not Otheos, but the now notice. For no one can perform the miraculous signs you are doing if God, Otheos, were not with him. This right now shows you how the words Theos and O Theos are used interchangeably for the God of Israel. John 13, 3. Jesus knew, now notice, that the Father had put all things under his power and that he had come from God. Now, Theu is the genitive form of Theos. It's, it's the word Theos. Don't, don't say, well, why it's spelled differently. Because the world will be spelled differently, word, depending on whether it's a subject, object, indirect object, right? Being addressed directly or chose possession. But it's the same word, Theos. Notice here, God, here it's Theos, not Otheos. But now notice, he came from Theos and was returning to O Theos, Ton Theon. So notice that the Father, who's the true God, is called Theos and O Theos, showing you they're used interchangeably. First John 4 12. No one has see, ever seen God, Theon. There is no definite article. But if we love one another, God, O Theos. So notice that Theon is the O Theos, showing that they can use, be used interchangeably with no difference in meaning. Romans 1 21. For although they knew God, Ton Theon, so they knew O Theos, they did not honor him as God. This you just destroyed him. Notice they did not honor him as God, Theos, which means that. You should not honor the God of Israel as the God of Israel. You're supposed to only honor him as Theos. Now watch here. First Thessalonians 1 Thessalonians 1.1. Paul, Silvanus, and Timothy, the church of the Thessalonians, in God the Father, Theo, Patri, no definite article. So the Father can't be the God of Israel. And the Lord Jesus Christ, grace to you and peace. We give thanks to, now notice, to Theo. Oh, now it's O Theos. So make up your mind, Paul, because if we wanted to know whether we're referring to the God of Israel, we have to say O Theos. So make up your mind. Is the Father O Theos or is he Theos? Let's continue. So now notice, remembering before our God and Father, now it's to Theo ke patros. Hmm. So is he Theos or is he O Theos? Or I'm now confused here. Now Paul goes back to call him Theos. To Theos, right? All right. For we know, brothers, loved by God, to Theu, O Theos. Hmm. And again, he says, your faith in God, ton Theon. So he's again, O Theos. And God again is, you turn to God, ton Theon, O Theos. But now here, you serve the living and true God. But here it's, Theo, no definite article. So make up your mind, Paul. Is the father Theos or is he O Theos, man? Because if he's Theos, then he's not the God of Israel. But if he's the God of Israel, then he's O Theos. Then he can't be Theos. You see how stupid this guy looks? How about 1 Peter 1, 10 to 11? As each has received a gift, use it to serve one another as good stewards of God's very varied grace. Multifaceted grace. Oh, so now it's Theu. First Peter 4, 10 to 11. Theos. Okay, man, dude, I don't know what to say anymore. Whoever speaks as one who speaks oracles of God, Theu. Again, he's called Theos, no definite article. So he can't be the God of Israel. Whoever serves as one who serves by the strength of God. But now he's all Theos. Supplies. Please, guys, help me. 
Is God the Father O Theos or is he Theos? Because here Peter and Paul says he's both. Let me show you the hypocrisy of this Satan. He just said that Jesus is not the God of Israel because in John 1, 1, he's not called O Theos. And if John wanted you to know that he's the God of Israel, he would have said O Theos. All right. Well, now watch when we do find the passage where Christ is called Otheos, and he'll explain it away. When Thomas sees Jesus resurrected and alive in his glorified physical body, watch what Thomas says. John 20, 26, 29. And for the sake of time, I'll skip to it. Thomas said to him, Epin, Epin, Ipin, Auto, everyone pronounce the Greek. Literally, he says to him, the Lord of me and the God of me. O Kiriosmu ke o Theosmu. Wow. So here Jesus is the God of Thomas, whereas earlier the Father is God of believers without the definite article. Now, which moron and idiot would say, see, the Father is not said to be O Theosmu, right? Or it's actually two theomu, but be, be that as it may, ton theon. However you want to inflect the words. He's simply theos of us. He's the theos of us. But he's not the otheos of us. But since Jesus is the otheos of Thomas, by extension he's our otheos, then he's the God of Israel, not the Father. Anyone to be that stupid to say that? 